Well, it was the regular season finale for both Panther City and Calgary as both teams look to finish the year with a win. Welcome everyone to the Cowtown Cats Lacrosse Podcast. I'm Nicholas, joined by Andy. Hello, hello. Uh, we wondered we wondered last week how this game between Panther City and Calgary would kind of play out. I mean, would they start their starters? Would they sit some people? Uh, would would certain players even play at all? Uh, you know, would they rest players to get ready for the playoffs? Well, we kind of found out right away. Uh, both teams had their starters uh, start the game for Calgary and for Panther City going into this final uh, regular season finale. Yes, both teams thankfully had something to play for. I say thankfully because we got the highest level of competition. <laughs> Granted, it would have been nice if Calgary sat <laughs> maybe their key guys. Um, Tyler Pace didn't play, but otherwise all their their key components were in. So it, it led to what ended up being a really good matchup. Well, with a close game offensively and defensively, that means the stat sheet <laughs> might have looked pretty full, which of course brings us to this week's Mr. Andrews Stats of the Game. Mr. Andrew, what stats do you have for us this week? Well, as you might expect from a game that was as close as it was throughout, so many of the categories are pretty close. Panther City won the Lucy battle, 62 to 58 loose balls. Calgary won the faceoff battle, but barely, 16 to 14. And from what I remember, they were mixing up who was taking the faceoffs between uh, Burton, obviously, but also Patton took quite a few from what I remember. I don't think uh, Bricker or Muir or, or Ronan Puch or other guys are playing, but it was kind of nice to see some variety. And it, it seemed to help out because we didn't win over 50%, but we were right under, which is pretty respectable. Calgary did get a few more shots on goal, 53 to 48, which was actually a better discrepancy than in the, the first half where they had eight more shots, 28 to 20. So that's something, who knows, maybe all those all those shots in desperation near the end kind of helped even it out a bit more, but it was still nice to see. Blocks, we had a, a couple more defender blocks than Calgary did, four to three. Calgary won the cost turnover battle 11 to 8. The big difference was Calgary won the turnover battle. They only had 22 to Panther City's 30. And that, I feel like in this game, that was probably more credit to their defense than our offense because some of the passing that Panther City was in, doing in this game was a lot crisper than it had previously. So they just had to learn how to deal with pressure from a defensive team like Calgary a bit better. And also, a game with Del Bianco and Damien, you can't overlook what they did in that. Damien saved 40 out of 53 shots at 75.4%, which is a bit lower than you would like from an elite level goalie. However, Del Bianco was actually a, a, a tick worse at 36 out of 48 for 75%. So props to both coaches and both offenses for being able to to make these goalies look mortal for 60 minutes. And we brought up how great Damien did in the first half. He actually saved 23 out of 28 shots, only allowed five goals for a stellar 82% rating. Whereas Del Bianco only saved 12 for, of 20 for 60%. I actually thought there was a good chance that Calgary was going to pull Del Bianco, but in the second half, he showed why he's such a good goalie. Oh, yeah, and, and that, you know, with even with the loss, like I said, Damood had, had a great game. I think uh, I think this was a good performance by him. Uh, it, it does, you know, we talked about during that first game against Calgary, how they pulled him, and sometimes you just have to, you have to let him weather the storm. You have to let right. him get that experience. And so I think I think last week's game, obviously getting a lot of great blocks during there, and, and obviously getting that last block at the end of the game to seal the yeah. win. And then this week, I think I think he should feel pretty good about himself. And and I, I'm I'm thankful that they they did start him and they they let him play a full game. And they didn't pull him. They didn't pull anybody early, but. You know that that kind of experience is what you need with a young team like this going into the the postseason for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he he did great throughout. He just you're not going to win them all, but man, yeah, that first quarter he looked great. That was he basically had three elite quarters in a row, going from the win against Vancouver last week into this one. So, yeah. 
Well, yeah, I mean, you can't say enough about the man, but, well, of course, that is Mr. Andrew's stats of the game, uh, which leads us to our Cool Cat plays of the game. Uh, I have one. I mean, there was multiple ones. There's a couple of different ones that I thought were really good. Honestly, I, I wish... I wish I could put more notes down about some of Daymood's saves, because he had some good saves as yes. well. Mm -hmm. uh, but mine was <laughs> that first quarter putback goal by Gaucher. I mean, you know, we, we've talked about multiple times this year. He, he takes advantage of the minutes that he's given on the floor, and he took advantage of that. Great. I mean, it was a great rebound and, and putback goal by Gaucher. That is, of course, my, my cool cap play of the game. What, what play do you, do you have? That Gaucher one was one of my honorable mentions, along with Phil Caputo off the broken play where, where the ball bounced off his shoulder onto the ground. He just scooped it up and got it in. Right. Yeah. Big, a point's a point, so what are you going to do? Um, but I think the two best ones, in my opinion, were the Crawford to Donville to Brennan goal where, where there was enough passing going on that allowed Brennan to kind of sneak in the middle and score. That was five-on-five five ball movement at, at its best because the ball wasn't sticking with any one player for any long amount of time. Along with that, I mentioned it earlier, Will Malcolm had a great defensive stop and then he basically ran down the the floor, got the ball back, and had that great bouncing five-hole shot on Del Bianco. Oh yeah, and, and you know, uh, uh, there were, like I said, there were a lot of other plays I thought that, that were just awesome, but uh, Offensively and def defensively, again, it was it was a really good game by both sides. That is, of course, our cool cat plays of the game, which brings us to our big cat players of the game. Uh, Andy, I'll let you kick us off on this one. Who do you have for your players of the game? I had trouble choosing one. Um, Tyler Burton and Liam Patton were very solid on faceoffs, from from what I witnessed. Damiud, again, he had a much stronger start than in past games, which helped keep it competitive throughout. It was a, we mentioned it, it was almost like opposite day for Panther City, or at least Damiud in terms of, okay, he's having the stronger stronger first half and then maybe lost a bit down the stretch. Right. But yeah, he overall, he didn't come away with the win, but we saw a lot of good things out of him. The, the trio of elite playmakers in Calum Crawford, John Donville, and Will Malcolm, they would probably be my players of the game. They were all solid, and it, it had been a while since all three of them had, had scored. Mm -hmm. I think now and then you might get like a goal from Malcolm in one game, one from Donville from another, but Calum would go get a donut, that sort of thing. So it was nice to see all of them nab multiple points and assists in the same game, especially against a team like Calgary. Oh yeah, and it's good for them to find that rhythm again. It's good for them to get those goals and, and feel good about how they are offensively on the floor. Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, uh, my honorable mention was Daymood. I mean, yeah, he, again, he had a really good solid game. Not perfect, but solid, uh, especially compared to the last game against Calgary. But you already mentioned him, uh, Donville. Uh, there's a reason why he's considered in, in consideration for Rookie of the Year, uh, and he showed up that night for sure, uh, getting in those goals, and, and not only that, but helping and assist. Just, man, I, I'm ready to see what he can do in the playoffs. I'm ready to see what he can do. I'm ready to see what Will Malcolm can do in the playoffs too. Uh, I think if Will Malcolm wanted to shine in the spotlight, it, it's going to be coming up uh, soon in a playoff game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one thing people forget about Donville, yes, he is a rookie, but he's a bit more seasoned because he went to grad school and, and stayed another year after he was drafted to get more experience and everything. So combine Donville's quote-unquote experienced youth and with Will Malcolm's speed and then Crawford's veteran leadership, plus Gaucher, Caputo, all the guys, good things are going to happen. Yeah, well, of course, those are our big cat players of the game. We look forward to... You know, this bye week, everybody's going to get rested. Hopefully, you know, be ready and 100% uh, rested and, and ready to go for our playoff game uh, on May 6th. But um, at, at, as we sign off on the second regular season for Panther City, unlike last year, it's not the end of the road for us just yet. Postseason is right around the corner. Uh, and and I, think, I think you and I are both ready to see you know, just what we can do. I mean, win or loss, 
it's good to see the team succeeding in that direction. Uh, but of course, we want to thank everybody for listening. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and of course, Twitter. Uh, thank you guys a million times over for this, this wonderful season. Uh, and thank you for listening. I am once again, Nicholas. And I am special re- regular season finale edition, Andrew. A regular season finale edition. I, I, that's, <laughs> that's limited edition for those of you guys uh, out there listening. Yeah. But uh, of course, we'll see you all next time. All right. Cheers, y'all.